right. <laughs> so we're here with what's your name? Monique. Monique. And Monique, you, you work out here in the streets? Yeah. Um well, how much do you make a day? Honestly it depends on the customers, but uh minimum I make it I wanna say one forty minimum. And that's in the day? Yeah, just a day. Oh yeah. The most I've made over four hundred bucks. In one day? In one day. That sounds like pretty good money. Yeah. And where do you stay at right now? Honestly, I'm homeless. <laughs> You're homeless? Yeah. You're not staying in a room or a hotel or anything like that? I was up to about a week ago, then I got kicked out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Damn. That sucks. <laughs> and uh, do you have, like, a boyfriend or anything? Not that's reliable, no. <laughs> that's reliable? Oh, <laughs> yeah. My kid's dead, but no. So, do you work by yourself or do you work with like a pimp or something like that i work by myself oh yeah yeah oh, okay do you have any family out here i do but we're not getting good terms right now we're not really talking so i'm on my own oh yeah yeah um do you do any drugs uh i'll be honest yes i do blues blues what yeah. what, what is that for like the people that don't know what that is it's uh the pretty dirty that has fentanyl on it. Perk 30s? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And is that is that a real addictive drug? or? Oh, yes, it is. Yeah? Yeah. When was the first time you, you first start, started doing the blues? It's been about a year. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How, how did you start? Friends. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And my dad, honestly. My dad got me into... He started me with G and heroin, and then I moved to blues. Oh yeah. Yeah. When when was the first time that like you tried the the hard drugs like the G and heroin? Uh, a little over two years ago. Oh yeah. Yeah. So you're 24 years old right now. Yeah. When you were 22. Yeah, about 22. Damn, that's crazy. And like when the guys pick you up, like what what is the majority that picks you up? Like, what race? Uh, Honestly, it's mostly Mexicans mostly mexicans yeah oh yeah do you have um but you do have other races coming to pick yeah, you up yeah there's a couple white black but and what what is your preference what do you prefer i'm more comfortable with you know mexicans oh yeah yeah uh, whites i feel like they're cops and blacks you know i've had trouble with them yeah not to be mean but yeah true but so like do you date black guys or no 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 nah? Okay, and that's because they bring sometimes they bring trouble, yeah. They do, and you know, I try to, I don't want to be like, what's the word for it, like racist or put a label or, on them or nothing. But yeah. every time I have, you know, given them a chance, I've had trouble with them, and yeah. Like, what kind of things do they do? Either they try to rip me off, or you know, I haven't had a couple of them hit me and stuff because they don't want to pay me, or even yeah. Cause you know, it's them that can't finish, and then they blame it on me, and... I yeah. Just, yeah. I've been, I haven't been doing this long, but I've already had to deal with a lot of bullshit. Crazy. How long have you been doing it? About two months. About two months. Yeah, and I've already had maybe at least five guys hit me or, you know, try to beat me up. And, like, uh, how many guys would you say that you date, like, in a day? Yeah. Yeah. Just to make, you know, get them out. Just enough to get yeah. where you have to get. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you seen any crazy stuff out here? Like, uh, is it dangerous? Uh, have you seen any girls come up missing or anything like that? No one that comes up missing, but like I said, a lot of girls we end up getting beat up or shit like that. I have seen. Uh, but you, I, I know a lot of the girls I'm learning. Yeah. Do you have like a girl that's like a mentor or anybody that like takes you around the block and shows you like what no, pretty I've much been, what to do? I'm basically doing it on my own. Yeah. You know, learning on my own. Yeah. Like that. 
Uh, do you get on the internet and do it on there? Any? No, I haven't tried. Because I know, I think they say they have like a yeah. bag page and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, there's different websites for that, but yeah. I, I haven't tried it. Don't you think that would be a little safer, like doing it like that? Uh, I've had trouble when if I go in motel rooms with people, I've had more trouble. Yeah. Than doing it in the cars. Yeah. Car dates are safer. Yeah, well, for me, yeah. Because motel, yeah, it's harder to get away. Yeah. Do you have like regulars that come by all the time? Yeah, there is a couple of nice regulars that, you know, that come by, you know, help me out. Yeah. I even have some that, you know, help me out even if I don't do nothing. That is nice. That's crazy. So you find uh, good-hearted Johns out here. Yeah, there are some good-hearted ones. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um. All right. For my last question is, uh, if you had two wishes, what would they be? Yeah. Yeah. Be able to have a good, steady job that I don't have to do shit like this. But. Yeah, man. I hope you get your life straightened out. Me too. And how many kids do you have? Though? I have three. Two girls and a boy. Yeah. Are they all small? Yeah, seven, four, and uh, three weeks old. Okay. Um... Any words of advice to like maybe girls that are thinking about smoking pills or like maybe doing the street life? What would you tell them? You don't want it. It's not nice. Mm, drugs. It's not worth it. Cause I know that they glorify it in the in the music yeah. all the time. It's they not, make it seem like it's cool. Yeah, it's cool until you don't have that and you're sick, and then you're out here doing this because you don't want to be sick. Yeah. Don't do it. Not worth it. Okay. We appreciate the interview. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.